Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find 650 posts, videos, and podcasts about medical preparedness for disasters and epidemics. Together with my lovely wife, Nurse Amy, I'm the co-author of the Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, as well as the designer of the fun new board game, Doom and Bloom's Survival. For eons, humans have used a handshake to indicate a friendly greeting. In modern times, however, epidemic diseases, MRSA, and antibiotic resistance makes me wonder if this time-honored tradition might just be hazardous to our health. For that reason, I'm proposing a new way that'll give greater protection while still indicating good intentions. The fist bump. What? Dr. Alden, have you got off your rocker? Handshakes have been a cultural foundation for millennia, and you'd like to replace it with something the kids use? I know I'm going out on a limb, and I understand where you're coming from, but hear me out. There's hard science behind this. The fist bump gained viral video status when President Obama and his wife Michelle performed it at a speech in 2008. Since then, young folk have incorporated it into their repertoire, adding the fist bump to the high five as a symbol of nice work or you to bomb. Little did they know that they might have decreased their risk of contracting contagious disease as a result. Let's face it, a handshake is a pretty dirty way to initiate contact with another person. Few people wash their hands as often as they should. A study at West Virginia University shows that people who do wash their hands regularly still might retain 20% of germs. We handle all sorts of questionable stuff over the course of the day, and worse, we usually touch our faces afterwards. This is a great way to get germs into our system through our mouth, nose, and eyes. If you don't think this happens very often, just observe a member of your family for 30 minutes and count the times they touch their face. You'll be surprised just how often this happens. Don't believe fist bumps are cleaner than handshakes? Researchers in the US and Great Britain systematically tested handshakes, high fives, fist bumps for the chance of causing infections. They dipped gloved hands into a solution containing bacteria called E. coli and then tested for the quantity of germs transmitted during each greeting method. Here we're using paint to demonstrate a similar method. First, shaking hands. Now, fist bumping. You can see more contact is made with handshakes. It turns out that shaking hands transfers 10 to 20 times the number of organisms than a fist bump does, and twice as much as a high five. Also, handshakes cover three times more surface area of contact and last almost three times longer than fist bumps. This is hard data that proves the fist bump is the safest way to say howdy or what's up to your family and friends, short of bowing politely, I guess. In addition, the parts of the hands that contact each other in a fist bump are the backs of your fingers, parts much more rarely used to touch your face than the tips of your fingers. A smaller area of your hand is involved as well. If we have switched from sneezing into our hands to sneezing into our elbow to prevent disease, how is this that much different? Therefore, I'm establishing what I call the fist bump initiative. In good times or bad, physical contact is an important way to convey good intent to those you meet. And the fist bump allows you to do this while minimizing the chances of contracting infectious diseases. If an old geezer like me can do it, you can too. Try a day of fist bumping, you'll find that after a while you get used to it and maybe even find creative ways to bump your buddies that are a heck of a lot more fun than a regular old handshake. That are a heck of a lot more fun than a regular old handshake. It's important to note that the fist bump isn't the only way to decrease the chance of transmitting infections. Regular hand washing will always be the best way to stay healthy. Teach your kids from an early age to incorporate hand washing into their daily routine and you won't be sorry. This is Joe Alton, MD, thinking outside the box to give you the best chance to stay healthy in times of trouble. Thanks for watching. Fist bump?